Testing one, two, testing. Mike check, one, two, Mike check. Coming to you live from Saskatoon. Chief Thunderstick, here we go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dancing to Tintik, Tanskat Nogakyo. Coming to you live from the Chief Thunderstick National Tournament here at the Merlis Belcher Place Rink 2. We have Eagle Lake Chiefs in the yellow or gold, looks more like yellow, and Cross Lake Islanders getting ready here for their contest. This is elimination day. Teams that lose out today are eliminated, single elimination. We're getting down close after this round. We'll be down to the final eight teams. Eight, as in the number eight. We've had a couple great games already. The Beardies Blackhawks is dropping a game to Canoe Lake. Our rivals here in Treaty 6 territory by a single goal. So Beardies is eliminated. Next door in Merlis Belcher one we have PBCN Stars playing the Montagnier Club from Quebec. Northern Quebec, I believe. Not totally familiar with the geography, but here we go. The starting lineup for the Eagles. We have in net Mark Sinclair, Curtis Barker, number 78, Brandon Stanley, number 9, Damon Gardner, number 13, Chase Berthelet is 16, Casey Gartner 18, Austin Gardner 19, Calum Chisque number 21, Trenton Kelly, Ryan Gagnon number 23, Matthew Pichens number 29, Miles Pichen Pichenis it looks like number 55, 65 is Trevor Cavanaugh, Marlon Gardner 71, Nathan Greer is 77. Tim Cavanaugh is 86, Alex Calvert is 92, 93 is Troy Williams, and Sheldon Adams is number 12. And for your Cross Lake Islanders, Brady Clays is the, the netminder, number 29. The alternate is number one, Tyrone Nabes, 66, Dre Garrick, 19, Trent Spence, 16, Conrad McKay, 88, Cajun McKay. 22, Carter McKay. 47 is Harley Garage. Hope, uh, hopefully I pronounce these names right. Doing the best I can with the spelling of these names. Number two, Chris McKay. 55, Justin Nackbauer. 20, Doug McLeod. 10 is Anthony Junior Keeper. Jordan Richard is number 11. And Austin Crossley, 77. Ryan Merrick's or more Munias is number 18. Sheldon Howard number eight. Braden Washman is number nine. And wearing 91 is Kobe Morisot. Coaches Cooper Richard. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Elimination game, championship Sunday between the Eagle Lake Chiefs and Cross Lake Islanders. Northern Manitoba, Eagle Lake Chiefs, I believe, are in from Ontario. Again, my apologies if I've got that wrong. Next door we have the PBCN Stars and Montagnier, the Montagnier community from Quebec, I understand, playing off there. Of course, teams will be eliminated as they lose and the winners advance and the champion, eventual champion will have to play four games today. Of course this tournament started with 40 teams on paper and we had a few that uh, could not show for reasons beyond the tournament's control. They played round robin, five teams in each pool, two teams from each pool advanced and those with the most points survived to championship Sunday they made the draw last night, and here we go. Top 16, now we're slowly eliminating a few teams here, down to the final eight as we speak. It is just before 2 p.m., it's 1.47 here, Central Standard Time. Coming to you live from Saskatoon, 
Saskatchewan Treaty 6 territory. The Chiefs making some nice crisp passing here. This will be a tenacious competition for the first period or two and then teams have to start playing strategic, conserve their energy, knowing that they're gonna have to play potentially three more games if they're gonna win the championship. Cross leg, shot wide there by 55. Intercepted, 55 again, shoots, Pataygeo going wide. Dougie McLeod taking his man out. 77, Chiefs moving the puck out of their zone, intercepted by the Islanders. I understand Eagle Lake is a very small community compared to many of these First Nations represented at this tournament. That's amazing. You can have teams, reserves, that are tiny, maybe 500 band members, still making great teams to compete at a, this level against communities like Cross Lake or Norway House, La Ronde's having well over 10,000 band members. So it's absolute amazing, absolutely amazing that these communities obviously invested time and resources in their minor hockey system to be able to to have this, to have teams compete at, at the senior elite level. Here we have Islanders pressing, keeping the puck in their zone. Conrad McKay back to number 18, dropping it off. Eagle Lake Chiefs breaking out of their zone, dumping it in, icing call. 11 minutes remaining in the first period. Of course, these are 15, two, two 15 minute periods, and the last game, last period will be played 20 minutes. I just witnessed an overtime game just a few minutes ago, and I noticed uh, that they go into, there is no shootouts in this tournament, is what I'm told by Mel Perrano, one of the Tournament rules technicians. Teams go on a three on three overtime 10 minute period. Of course, Onion Lake just dropping a game to Whitefish Flyers in that overtime. Whitefish Flyers advancing. Onion Lake Border Chiefs going home. Cross Lake, crossing the blue line, 77 shoots but goes wide, kept in by Conrad McKay. On the left side at the blue line, he dumps it in. They're battling in the corners. Conrad McKay back there, takes a hit from number 12. There's a shot from the point. Number two, defenseman for the Islanders. Chris McKay, looks like, number two. Apologies if we get these names wrong. This is what we're going by based on the game sheets. There's two McKay's taking a shot. Going wide. Islanders pressing. Number two takes a snapper. Blocked by number 86. Back to the point. Shot is blocked. 91. 
Conrad McKay does the spinorama. Eagle Lakes, number 16. Eagle Lake Chiefs crossed the blue line. Can't seem to penetrate the Islanders' defense. There we go, block shot. And number 55 for the Islanders. Dumps it in, but can't make anything happen. Islanders moving the puck well, but neither team can't seem to do much at this point. Only two shots on net so far for the home team. Looks like Islanders is two shots. Eagle Lake failing to get a shot on net yet so far. Here's Dougie McLeod for checking. Number two, McKay takes it across the blue line. They have to retreat. Seven is seven for the Eagle Lake Chiefs behind his net, bringing it out. Going to his right side, number 29. Four checking, McKay, number two, brings it out. Back to number 10. Across, shot on net. Easy save by the netminder for the Chiefs. That would be Mark Sinclair, the netminder, number 35 for the Chiefs. So I'm going to get a little bit of a scar now. I'm going to get a little bit of a Doing a play-by-play -play on behalf of the Chief Thunderstick Committee. Trying our best to do what we can with the limited information we have on these players. We don't have, to have time to research a lot. We're familiar with some teams, rosters, and totally unfamiliar with others. But that's the nature. It is what it is. We're trying our best. So we'd like to acknowledge the Thunderstick Tournament for doing its best to have this play-by-play -play opportunity. There we go, the Islanders. First on the scoreboard at the 560 mark of the first period to take the lead. Nice little deflection there in front of the net. Difficult to score on these goalies. All the goalies on Championship Sunday are exceptionally talented. I wouldn't be surprised if most of them have double-A, triple-A, minor hockey experience, junior, maybe college level experience, so they're able to compete and put on a good show. Munia scoring there for the Islanders. Keeper. Getting the assist on that. From Munias. Munias scoring, putting the Islanders on the scoreboard. Just less than five minutes remaining in the first period. Here we go, Islanders pressing. 88 makes a nifty little fake pass. That's just by the goalie coming up the right side. Number 20 dumps it in for the Chiefs. Behind the net. Number 20 takes out his guy. Eagle Lake putting the pressure on. Islanders trying to re regroup. Conrad McKay. Long pass missing. Number 88. Carter McKay, interesting little uh, story here. Carter McKay wearing number 22 for Cross Lake Islanders. He is the son of centerman and veteran number 16, Conrad McKay. 
Interesting combination there. Not often you see in hockey fathers and playing with their sons. That's uh, kudos to Conrad for keeping himself in top physical conditioning to be able to play with his son, Carter McKay, who plays for the Melville Millionaires in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, the SJHL. Conrad McKay, 16, making a nifty little play. Carter, four checking, 71 for the Chiefs, 13, back to 93. 93 with the puck behind the net, going to regroup. Chiefs, number 93, 23, sorry. Takes a shot, goes wide. Islanders pressing in the corner, but can't seem to bring it out. Here we go. Slowing it down back there. Number 93, Chiefs. Deflected out of play. Here we are, coming to you live from Saskatoon, the Merlis Belcher Place Arena, number two. Less than a minute remaining in the first period. Cross Lake Islanders leading this Eagle Lake Chiefs. One to nothing, big Usita cross leg Egon Magigwe, Eagle Lake Chiefs. Number 77, Gitasko Maga Nagineo, goaltender for the Islanders, Dougie McLeod, Conrad McKay, drop pass, back to 10. Number 20, McLeod getting slashed. Looks like we've got a penalty being assessed here to the Eagles. 65 will be sent to the penalty box for slashing. So with the seconds remaining in the first period, slashing penalty called against the Chiefs. So the Islanders will start the second period with a man advantage. Looks like Trevor Cavanaugh getting the slashing penalty. <laughs> They're having fun here, guys. We're counting the, you must be counting the games now, eh, guys? Oh, that's a long four days, eh? How many games? Over a hundred games and with four 96, rinks. 96 regular. 96 rinks. 18 men playoff and yeah. eight women. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. It's just a lot of hockey games here this weekend. Action started Thursday morning. We are winding down here. After this game, it'll be down to eight teams competing and then down to four and two. The final game going tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that game will be broadcast by APTN with 
special guests, commentators, John Shabbat and Clarence Shaboy Iron doing the play-by-play -play live from Saskatoon Treaty 6 territory. So here we go, second period. Islanders leading the Eagle Lake Chiefs. Bayuk Usitawak. They scored one Namagigway for the Chiefs. Zero, nil. Akwena ni hiu is in mana ha skau a put the wing and guns to tag on a put the game in the moya mina maga. Pugo gagam peak square homa kagi kagi migoya peak square win no mamo tawi no agi migoa. A wute mana nina ni ne hiu anan. We speak the Plains Cree dialect in this region. So those of you who may be ne hiu or Crees. We do have different dialects, and I speak the Plains Cree dialect and practicing and incorporating some of the language in hockey games, which I don't do very often, but I'm going to give her a try every now and then. we got to invent some words like Clarence Iron will tonight when he broadcasts the, the game on APTN. There's 77. Cross Lake on the attack. Leading one to nothing. Here in the second period. They are on a power play and can't seem to get anything going here. Number two, McKay. Big defenseman. Again, intercepted by the Chiefs. They can't seem to get much going here. Let's we'll see. They got another rush and another opportunity. A minute 20 to go on that, with that penalty. Mad man advantage. They just can't seem to hang on to the puck. Here we go again. 7 to 7. Breaking through. Stopped again by the Chiefs. Conrad McKay in there, four checking for the Islanders. Back to Carter McKay, backhand pass to his daddy. Interesting watching these two father son combination. Looks like we got some ruckus going on in a corner. I'm gonna get out of my chair. Oh boy. Looks like uh, McKay there, the veteran, is hurt. He is down in a little bit of agony. Looks like that might be a veteran, Conrad McKay down. Looks to be in and a bit of pain there, but he is moving. Could be a lower body injury by the looks of it. Maybe he's cramping up. Looks like we're going to have a penalty assessed here to the Chiefs, I'm assuming. Wait for the officials to make the final call. But it's like Conrad McKay there with the lower body injuries moving. Might be cramping up. Looks like in a bit of pain for the veteran.
So while we're waiting for some help here on the ice, let Conrad McKay recuperate. So far in the uh, in the draw here, looking at the uh, the draw, the updated draw, the PBA B PBCN Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation Stars are are playing the Pesimat Montagnier in Merlis one. That looks like. Conrad McKay's up, it's gonna be okay, he's a little tender. Whitefish Flyers defeated Onion Lake, so they advance. They will play at 4.30, the winner of PBCN Stars in the Montagnier. Six Nations defeated Pegasus Mohawks this morning. They play OCN Winterhawks at three o'clock. Here at the Merlis too, it is Aquasasni Wild beating Sagash this morning. They play Norway House, who defeated Gideon ZB earlier this morning at 3.15. The Canoe Lake Young Guns wait for the winner of this game between Cross Lake and Eagle Lake, and they play at 4.45. That'll be the quarter <laughs> finals. So a lot of hockey left here today. Come on down, folks, if you're in the region. Only $15 at the gate gets you access to some great Hockey Sport Entertainment at the Chief Thunderstick National Hockey Championship. A lot of hockey left. Final game going at 9 p.m. tonight. That's seven hours away if all goes to the plan. 9 p.m. Central. Austin Gardner for the Chiefs getting the penalty there. I'm assuming that's a charging penalty. Could be tripping. And veteran Conrad McKay taking quite the spill there. Appears to have hurt his leg, but he was able to get up and skate back to the bench. Tough guy, that Conrad. Nothing like that will put a guy like that down very long. Playing with a son here, Carter McKay, Melville Millionaire's product. Here we go. Uh, Islanders 91 to number 10. With a man advantage, five on three. Five on four now, 65 comes out of the penalty box for the Chiefs. Number two, McKay dishes it out. Good, Brady Keeper showed up for the Islanders on Friday, but some altercation, I wasn't there, but uh, didn't come back for Saturday. Maybe he was there Saturday, but uh, certainly didn't see him. Chiefs putting pressure on here, number 10. Islanders back to 91 in a corner as they battle for the puck, 11, one-timer, didn't quite get much on that, not enough mustard. Easy save there by the goaltender. Good music. Gets the guy's mojo going, even if you're tired. So each of these teams would have played four games, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Action started Thursday, so in round robin play, they would have played four games. This is game number five for them. The ultimate champion will end up playing four games today. So it's single game and elimination for the coveted Chief Thunderstick Trophy. Bragging rights as national champions for 2023. Shot there by number 20 or number two for the Islanders going wide. Battle in a corner. Islanders come out with that. And Eagle Lake Chiefs, bumping it in. 
77 for the Islanders, picking it up back to 91. Breaking down center, passes it off to 55, and again it's dumped out. 77 for the Islanders. And looks like the Chiefs are doing a good job so far in killing this penalty. Islanders can't seem to capitalize at this moment. Number two, McKay. Or is it Makai? Sometimes they say Makai. Fun sit there. Let's go pay me sit. So I'm going with the Islanders. Fans from Northern Manitoba. This standing room only in this little rink. Not a lot of seating in Merlis 2. The bulk of the seating, home of the U of S Huskies in Merlis is Merlis Belcher Rink 1. Seats about 2,000, 2,500 maybe. Here we go, Eagle Lake Chiefs 16. Back into the Islanders zone. Ninety-one for the Islanders. Up center ice goes wide. He still got it. Right side back to seventy-seven. Shot on that easy glove save there for the Chiefs netminder. It's less than eight minutes remaining in the second period. Cross Lake Islanders, Niganiok Megwats. Niso say Niso periods as a meto maga Eagle Lake Chiefs Mutasko Hu Sitawak. There's Conrad McKay. Good to see him back out on the ice. Tough little bugger. With lower body injury it appears, but he's still he's back on the ice. McKay back to Carter McKay. 47. Shot blocked. Deflection there by Conrad, but no go. Islanders with the man advantage here. 6.45 to go. Chiefs dumping it out. Islanders regrouping. Breaking out is number 77. Flying down the middle. Goes left. Left side. Still has the puck behind the net. Intercepted by the Chiefs. Blocked at the blue line by 88. Keeps it in. Carter McKay. A little chopped. Pass to his daddy, Utawian he Conrad McKay. Conrad McKay, Ugosana, Carter Sigasu. Melville Millionaires on the Meto, Ugo Uta, 22 Gaxka. Kunahisu. Conrad looks like he's a little discomfort. But still out there. Probably Dougie McLeod, a veteran as well here, and wearing number 20 for his home raised community, Cross Lake. Dougie, no stranger to senior hockey in Saskatchewan. Chiefs punching it in. Number two, McKay. To Dougie McLeod who chips it in. It's in the Eagle Lake Chiefs zone. Both teams are just not quite able to complete two, three passing plays, intercepting each other. Good playing tight defensively, blocking shots. 77 takes a hit for the Islanders. Back to the Chiefs. Offside called against the Islanders. 
go next door in case you didn't in case you missed it we have the PBCN stars playing against the team from Quebec the Montagnier club I saw the first couple minutes there that was a fast-paced game so just wondering uh, if anyone happens to be listening and knows the score come let us know Here we have the Chiefs trying to get their first goal on that. First shot on that. First goal. There's Dougie, nope, 91. I thought it was Dougie McLeod, but 91. Off to 55 Islanders. Great opportunity there, but the shooter goes wide, and the Eagle Lake Chiefs regroup in their zone. Number 86. Slowing it down here, these guys, some of, many of these guys who played these tournaments know they've got to pace themselves and don't burn all their energy in one game because at the end of the day, the winning team is going to have to play four games today. they got to play smart. Especially the veterans. They know what to do. Here we go. There's a little... Oh boy, there's a sandwich chuck there. 55 for the Chiefs goes down. Ouch, ouch. Put the gun away, sucks. Wow, put the gun. What do I know? To me, I'm not. Wow, he's a gay. I'm not. To turn his suits, his suits, his suits. Wait, there's a heavy chuck. Ouch, that would have hurt. Seems to be okay though. That would have to hurt. A little meeting here going on. Referees making the call. Looks like Islanders will be a man down here with 2.46 remaining in the second period. Chiefs will have a man advantage. Seven getting call for boarding. Harley Garich or Garich. That's it to go. I can't pronounce, can't really spell that or see the spelling. Harley 47 getting a boarding penalty with 246 remaining in the second period. The Chiefs five on four. They win the faceoff. Carter McKay dishing it out. Chiefs ninety three. Three dumps it behind the net. Twenty nine picks it up. Islanders are able to punch that puck out. Whistle called at one fifty five remaining in the second period. Nine 
98. It's the 88 of the Islanders taking that face off. Got less than a minute remaining. Less than a minute remaining in the second period. Cross Lake Islanders, Megots, Nigani, Ok, Begosita, Ok, Go, Sandy Lake, Eagle Lake Chiefs, Ote, Namagi, Guay, Bucas, Kagio, Sita, Ok, 86, Guitar School. Nagi now, Magek te na wei. Nutin tuk. Kun ma ma gui tuk. Tunek te ga ma ma. Kwe mas mas kam tuk. Anaga gaskiche sit ka wei wea sit. I think that's how they say puck. Gaskiche wea ka gaskite sit. Ana ka wei ka wei wa wei wea sit. I think it's one way they say puck in Cree. Clarence Iron will, will tell you. He's got words for a crossbar, goal post. Offside. So squats bookie way. Skate um QC Tao squats on hit it will We don't have a original words for a lot of ice hockey concepts in the Plains Cree language. We gotta make them up sometimes. It's an evolution of the Nehiawe win. So after two complete periods here at the Merlis Belcher. Rink two, it is one to nothing. Cross Lake Islanders leading the Chiefs. Take a little break here and like to acknowledge our, our sponsors for the Chief Thunderstick National Championship. May 18 to 21, BATC, Community Development Corporation, Sasaga Moose Concepts, Atakaku Cree Nation, Graham Construction, All East Training Post and Trucking, Sika, 21 Sports Limited, First Nations Capital and Infrastructure Agency, the FSIN, and Yakiku Consulting Group. I want it to go again. We have TP Insurance Partners, IMI, Fun Group. Ampibar Response, First Nations Power Authority, Ridgeline Canada, Affinity Credit Union, Dakota Dunes Community Development Corporation, First Nations Natural Resource Center of Excellence, and the Indigenous Radio Show. I'd like to acknowledge all of these sponsors for making the Chief Thunderstick 2023 Championship a reality bringing some good sports entertainment to the Indian community from across Turtle Island. So here we go, third period between the Chiefs from Eagle Lake and the Islanders from Cross Lake. Sagaigan, Sagaigan, it would be a word for lake. The lake, Sagaigan. Chiefs would be Ukimawak in our Plains Cree language. Number eight from Cross Lake Islanders, I do know. Sheldon Howard, I believe, plays NCAA hockey in the United States. I was told for Minot, North Dakota. Big guy, number eight. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these guys potentially cracking the NHL in the years to come. Like we had uh, players like White Cloud, who's now doing exceptionally well for the Las Vegas Knights, who not that long ago was playing NCAA hockey in the USA. 
now doing exceptionally well for the Knights, recently de helping defeat the Edmonton Oilers in NHL playoff action. So here back in Saskatoon, we have the Chiefs and the Islanders in a very tight game. The home team out shooting. Looks like the Islanders are out shooting the Chiefs nine to four at this moment. The final frame here. Winner advances to the quarterfinal. And the loser is eliminated. This is single game elimination format here today. And the last day of the Chiefs Thunderstick National Championship. For the Chiefs, Conrad McKay still, still in this game after suffering a lower body injury, but he's still out there. McKay. Dougie McLeod working hard there along the corner. Carter McKay, number 22, back to McKay, number two in the back. Breaking out of their zone. Back to Carter McKay, backhand into the chief zone. Chiefs breaking out, 16 from 23, takes a shot, smothered up there by the tender for the Islanders. 16 minutes remaining here in the third period. The Chiefs scoreless. Muchas gracias, Eagle Lake Chiefs. Nigani Okuge cross leg Islanders, Begusita Ok. Timeout called by the Chiefs. Pesimat Montagnier and the PBCN Stars are battling it out in the other rink as we speak. So if anyone is listening and happens to know what the result is there, let us know. Here I'm gonna ask. Can you go find out the score over there for me? Okay. I've got a runner, she's gonna go and check the score in the Merlis one battle there between the PBCN Stars and the Montagnier from Quebec. Here at the Merlis two, 15 minutes remaining in the third, we have the Islanders so far leading one to nothing over the Eagle Lake Chiefs. Little sloppy play here. These guys must be. I would say they're a little tired. Nanesta soge to go ge. Maga, haga me mok. Each game is different. 
some games are super fast, <laughs> hard hitting, and other games are like a little sloppy, chippy. But like I said earlier, this is a marathon, not a sprint. These guys know the winning team at the end of the day is going to have to play four games today. Absolutely amazing physical stamina for these guys. Not easy. This will likely be the hardest tournament to win in all of Canada. Years ago when I was playing senior hockey and as a kid watching senior hockey, we had a tournament in the Battlefords called the North Battleford Indian Maidie Friendship Center Tournament. That was known as the Native Stanley Cup of Hockey here on the, on the prairies in Western Canada. And Kenora, Ontario had a tournament as well. It's tied 2-2 two -two and they're going three on three now. Oh boy, overtime, 2-2. Two -two. 2-2 tie between PBCN Stars and uh, Montagnier here in Merlis Belcher. One going in overtime. Apparently it's three on three. They play 10 minutes. Three on three, switch ends. No shootouts in this tournament. Interesting format. Good thing tomorrow is a holiday. We can sleep in tomorrow, hey guys? For some of us, tomorrow is a holiday. Some of us can sleep in a little to get caught up with our rest. A lot of these teams will be flying out tomorrow or driving home. Many, many kilometers. There's Dougie McLeod, number 20, across the blue line. Drop pass to 18, who wasn't quite expecting it. Dougie McLeod back behind the net, battling hard. Dad McLeod is a grinder. Never quits, never quits. Love his style. Looks like we got a penalty coming. Delayed penalty. Dougie McLeod getting riled up. Getting, he's going to get called off for. Is that charging or spearing? Oh, a bad penalty. Undisciplined penalty. It's a bad time to be getting penalized when you're only ahead, ahead by a goal. Guess we'll let, wait for the announcer, Morley Watson, from the old Chapaways Nation on the microphone downstairs. So it's going to be five on four here for the Chiefs with 11.50. And the clock ticking away. We're playing straight time. 20 minutes. Third period is 20 minutes. First two are 15. That is a double minor for spearing, so that could be a... A costly penalty there for Dougie McLeod for the Islanders. Double minor for spearing. See what happens here. If the Chiefs can capitalize and tie this up. Ninety-three breaking out of his zone. Sixteen picks it up, crosses the line, blue line. Ninety-one for the Islanders. BBCN looks like just one in overtime over Montagnier in the other rink. So PBCN, congratulations, for advancing in the Freddy. Unfortunately, the losers have to go home. In this case, it was the Montagnier from Quebec. Traveling a long ways, but surviving to Championship Sunday, we'll be heading home. Here we have in Merlis 2, the Eagles. 
with a man advantage. Double minor just assessed to Dougie McLeod for the Islanders, giving the Eagles a man advantage. Double minor for Spearing. So here we go, 98. Nice little nifty play there by the Islanders. Carter McKay taking a vicious hit. Interception, interception here by number nine. Eagles on a breakaway. Can't score, cannot capitalize. Nugget go, goaltender. Goalie stops him to maintain a one nothing lead. Nine and a half to go here in the third. So PBCN, if you missed it, winning in overtime over Montagnier at Merlis Belcher won. Exciting matches all day today so far. No blowouts at all. All these games are, or teams are evenly matched from what we can see. Games ending in overtime, one goal games, and looks like it'll be like like this all day today. So fans, if you're out there in, in the region, come on down to the Merlis Belcher place. Only $15 gets you into the a day of action here. Good sport entertainment for the day. Championship game going at 9 p.m. tonight at the Merlis Belcher Place Rink 1. And that final game will be broadcast live on APTN with none other than Clarence Chaboy Iron from Canoe Lake, Free Nation, and John Shabbat. John Shabbat from Algonquin, the Algonquin Nation. Gideon ZB is here. He was coaching his team, but unfortunately they got ousted this morning. And he will be here doing the play-by-play -play commentating live on APTN. Bench minor being assessed, it looks like to the Islanders with 8.44 remaining in the third period. We have Conrad McKay here pleading his case. But looks like the Zebras have made their decision. Bench minor being assessed. Munoz is in the penalty box. 8.44 remaining, one nothing here. Islanders leading the Eagles. And the Eagles are gonna have a man advantage. See what happens, close games here next door in case you missed it, there's PBCN Stars advancing to the next round by defeating the our relatives from Montagnier, the Montagnier Nation. I believe that's in Northern Quebec. I'd like to congratulate them, thank them for coming all this way. Chief Thunderstick National Championship. Okay, here we go, back at the Merlis, Merlis Belshirt Rink 2, five on three for the Chiefs. With 8.35 remaining. Going to be an interesting finish here. Chiefs five on three. Blocked by number two, McKay. The guy with the green helmet is a McKay, apparently. Here, Chiefs breaking out their zone, number 23. Calm and cool, dumps it in. Islanders goalie out of his net. 23. Another call, slashing call there. Slashing penalty. 
Assessed to the Chiefs, number 29, with 7.30 on the clock. Matthew Pichens. Slashing penalty assessed against the Eagles with seven minutes and 21 seconds remaining here in the third. Getting chippy, a lot of sticks flying. No penalties call there. Seventy-seven, dishing out a good check there. The Chiefs hanging on here, or the Islanders, I should say. Although they're down two men, it is now four on three. Ninety-three, uh, Chiefs take the shot, goes wide, and Sipatai Gil, Mugi Tawa Hamama Net Kaisi Katami. That's it. How do you say goalie or net in Cree? Text me at 341-1876, 306-341-1876. Give me some tips on how to say some of these terms into Cree. I'm not Clarence Iron, nowhere near what he can do. He's been doing this for quite some time. You can tune in on APTN tonight, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to watch the championship game here at the Freddy in Saskatoon. Face off in the Islander zone, four on three for Eagle Lake, but just a little under five, little over five minutes remaining. In the third, here's Conrad McKay, 16, back, backhand pass to Dougie McLeod, goes wide, back to two, McKay, back to the point. Yeah, God, so see Tao. 77 manages to keep it in. Punched out by 92 for the Chiefs. 86 dumps it in. It is now four on four, even strength. With 430 remaining. Nice save there by the tender. Solid goaltending here on, on both sides. Number two, McKay chips it in. V-man's forechecking. Number two, blocked in front. Here we go, the Chiefs breaking away. Two on one. Nice save. Defensive play blocked there by number 17 for the Islanders. Eight dishes it out to Carter McKay on the left side. Carter dumps it in. These guys have to be exhausted. This will be their fifth game of the, in four days. The winning team is ultimately going to be playing four games today. There's Conrad McKay. Oh, get out to see Tao. So get again, Google Tender. Conrad McKay had a beautiful opportunity all alone in the front of the, but the goalie just outsmarted him, knew what he was doing to stop, to stall that at one nothing. Gegats, Conrad, Makeo, Si, Tao, Magasuge, Nagingu. One nothing, three and a half to go in the third. Good crowd here at Merlis Belcher, one. Good to see the Nietzsche crowd here. Unfortunately, this arena is small, tight for, for seating, but makes it nice and cozy. As you can see, standing room only. 
Chiefs hanging on here. Or the Islanders, I should say, my apologies. The Chiefs pressing to try to get on the score clock. Chiefs buzzing in, the, in their zone, nice save. Islanders break out. Number 91 on the right side. Pass is intercepted. Big guy, 55 for the Chiefs, dumps it in casually as they change lines. Whistle called. Good action here, coming to you live from Saskatoon, the Chief Thunder Stick Tournament. We want to acknowledge our major sponsors, Atakaku Cree Nation, the ATC Community Development Corporation, and Sasagamu's Concepts. <laughs> 55 for the Eagles. Tries to dump it in. Shot. On net, easy save by 35. Wish I had these all weekend. Dougie McLeod battling behind the Chiefs net. Chiefs desperately trying to get a goal here. Two minutes remaining, two minute warning in the third period. McKay just barely missing a pass there. Young Mil Melville Millionaire's product. Playing with his dad out there. Conrad McKay, number 16. Back to McKay, number two. Dumps it in. Less than a minute and a half remaining. Chiefs trying to get on the scoreboard. Goalie smothers for a whistle. Conrad McKay, number 16 for the Islanders. For those who don't know him, uh, played junior hockey in Canada, I believe in Manitoba, that went down, played several years as a, a professional in uh, several minor leagues in the USA and then came home and now playing some good senior hockey. He is a veteran. Good to see guys like him stay in good physical condition to be able to compete at this level and at his age. Playing with his son, Carter McKay, number 22. Chiefs. Won't have much time here. Less than a minute remaining. Now, rem less than a minute. They take a shot. Blocked. Islanders playing cautious. Goaltender smothers it. You preserve the lead right now. Anything can happen here. Less than a minute to go. Winner advances to the next round. Loser goes home, unfortunately, after they've battled hard for the past four days. These teams have to be physically, mentally exhausted, but the honor of winning the Treddy is absolutely on everybody's minds. They'll go the extra mile. It's not about so much about the prize money per se, it's about the bragging rights, the, the trophy, and the opportunity to win this championship that brings these teams coming back. It's like our Allen Cup tournament. It's like our own Allen Cup. The 
caliber of hockey is getting better. Of course, there's so many of these young athletes playing double-A and triple-A hockey. It's just getting better and better and better. So it'll be exciting to see where this hockey is, this caliber of hockey is in five years and 10 years. A lot of college players, junior players, Conrad McKay there, not taking it lightly. Coincidental penalties assessed to the Islanders and to the Chiefs with less than 13 seconds, 12.8 remaining on the clock. Ball point eight seconds remaining on the clock. One nothing. Islanders leading. It was a good battle. The Islanders win here. I'll take a look at the draw. In case you haven't heard, the PBC and Stars advancing over the Montagnier Club from Quebec. Whitefish Flyers advanced, Canoe Lake, Young Guns advanced. There's a good battle, there's a good battle. One nothing for the Islanders over the Eagle Lake Chiefs. Looks like a rivalry further east of us here in Saskatoon. A good battle. Munia is getting player of the game award for the Islanders. And that's it. Unfortunately, the, the loser has to go home. In this case, it'll be the Eagle Lake Chiefs. We thank you on behalf of the Chief Thunderstick Committee for making the long journey here. And we shall continue and move on the next round. Good battle. And the traditional handshake, even after all that battling going on and chirping, slashing. The guys leave it on the ice for the most part. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Egosip itamag tamskat na wow. I'm gonna take a peek at the draw here based on what I, the information I have. At three o'clock, OCN Winterhawks will be playing Six Nations in the quarterfinals at the Merlis One. At 4:30, Whitefish Flyers will be playing the PBCN Stars at the Merlis One. And at 3.15, Merlis 2 here in this rink, Aquasasni will be playing Norway House Bruins at 3.15. And then the Canoe Lake Young Guns and the Eagle Lake, nope, sorry, Cross Lake Islanders will square off here at the Merlis 2 at 4.45. So there you have it, folks. An update on this draw. We're narrow narrowing it down to the final eight after this game and then we'll down to the final four and of course the championship game will be taking place tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So this is Milton Tutusis signing off for now. Talk to you soon. Hey, hey.